Hey folks, I'm making this quick recording here to let you know of the Crazy Mars Shift web class that I have finished, um, where I spend a great deal of time talking about how the shift is going to affect the United States over the next nine and a half months into next year, into next June. If you want to know how this is going to affect especially the U.S. and the U.S. chart, you want to check out this web class because as you can see here, this is the chart of where we're at right now and Mars is going to go back and forth between the sign of Cancer and Leo. And as you see in this, this is the USA chart. Um, the USA, whether you think the USA has a Scorpio or a Cancer, I'm sorry, a Scorpio or a Sagittarius ascendant, I am pretty sure it's Scorpio based on the chart of the you know, the chart in hand of the day and of my uh, rectification. But either way, you see that the USA chart has six planets in Gemini and Cancer. And according to the Scorpio chart, that means that Mars is going to go back and forth between those four planets in the eighth house and those two planets in the ninth house. That would be um, Mars, Venus, Jupiter, and the sun in Gemini in the eighth house and then Mercury Rahu in the ninth house. So a big part of the web class that I taught, and as you can see here, it says under, under my name here, marswebclass.com, under this, you know, under my name, a big part of the web class was talking about the Mars shift in general and going in between, you know, what Mars is and what the sign of Gemini is, what the sign of Cancer is, what these two signs are that are toggling back and forth. But then also in the USA chart, how these things can play out. But also in that web class, of course, I go over the actual specific dates, but then I talk about it for each of the 12 signs as well, including yours, of course. Again, this is a free web class, but you want to really understand how this is going to be affecting you and your life. Um, again, if, if you're a Leo, it's the 11th and 12th house, ambition leading to loss and surrender. If you're Gemini, houses one and two, identity, which lead to values. If you're Capricorn, houses six and seven, work and service leading to agreements. So this is huge. Um, nine and a half months, Mars is going to go back and forth between these two signs. He's usually only in a sign even just for two months. But so this is really unprecedented to have Mars in these, in any two signs for that long. But then you see that sensitive part in the USA chart where the USA has six planets. It's where most of the planets are in the USA chart, as you see down here at the bottom. Four planets in Gemini, two planets in Cancer, including the nodes. So this is the eighth and ninth house. This is why America is going through such a big change right now. So again, um, I invite you to check out that web class. Again, it's free and you can just uh, you know, get it at marswebclass.com. Um, I put this together because I know that these things can really help people. And again, it's a long, you know, detailed class. And, you know, one of the reasons I don't make these long hour long videos here on YouTube that often is because the viewership, you know, people don't watch it as much. I do some of them, but this one, I decided to just put it out there this way um, and invite people to check it out. So please go ahead and go to that, the um marswebclass.com and get that free web class see how the shift of mars through gemini and cancer for the next nine and a half months will not only affect you but also the usa chart thanks for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to the channel